handicap tennis. Golf has a handicap system that works. Someone who has a nine handicap can play with a scratch golfer. Scratch golfer means they're at zero. So there's a nine stroke difference, but they go out and they play the same course. Obviously, scratch golfers like to play with scratch golfers, but they're playing against the course. In tennis, we're playing against each other. If every week, everyone in tennis would play someone who was beneath them, lower than them, as far as a skill set. The inferior players were played by the superior players. We'd have so much tennis played. But tennis becomes very clicky. A handicap system or handicap ideas in tennis, twosie foursies. The inferior player has to win two. The superior player has to win four. With um, if you miss wide, you automatically lose the game. If you hit one ball short, you automatically lose the point. So you could just set it up. You can even have it be based on player strengths and weaknesses. If you have someone say, okay, you get one serve. You get one serve plus you have to give away one point. You're playing every game down, love 15. Quick story, Jimmy Connors would start a match. He'd take his old T2000 with a leather grip. He'd pour water on it, and he'd towel it off. And people say, what are you doing? And he would say, I'm going to play with a wet grip at the end, so I'm going to play with a wet grip in the beginning. He was mentally tough. He was placing the handicap upon himself. He was giving himself a wet grip. Years after that, Dr. James Lair started running mental toughness camps, and he would have kids switch with each other, play with a different racket and then pour water over the grip and place a handicap on the player. So you can do it to have the score to be, have the score be more competitive. You can do it to have the player be mentally tough. So just stop and think about placing handicaps on your players in tennis.